Hello everyone. So in last class you learned about div tag, about ID and title tag and you learned about style tag as well. Now today we are going to start to develop our first website. So for that I'm creating you can see my screen I am creating a new folder here okay so you create a new folder for your first project uh, I'm give it, giving it a name my first project you can give any num okay so create a folder on your uh, computer like that and then I'll open the folder and I'm going to open my Visual Studio code here. So CMD, enter. Then you write code space dot enter. So my Visual Code will open in that folder which I have created just now see this is my folder here my first project okay so this is a welcome screen I'll close that now here I am going to open a new file within this folder my first project okay so this is for new file click here I'll open a file HTML file index dot html yeah so first what we have to do you have to declare the doc type Now here I am going to show you, I am going to show you another thing today, uh, like so far what we were doing, we were writing doc type manually and then we were putting HTML tag, head section, all those stuff. Now there is a shortcut in your keyboard, if you if you use your left hand and push shift and that exclamation uh, key exclamation means this one can you see this so you you have got a key on the top left corner after the tilde um, uh, before the two you know one two uh, keys are there um, in, this is actually in the one key one at the below and exclamation on the top okay so if you if you uh, with your uh, left hand if you hold shift and then if you push that one key you will get that okay so what we are going to do in left hand we will push shift and one and at the same time we, with the right hand you will click on enter so on your keyboard I'm repeating it again on your keyboard with the left hand you pushed shift and one at the same time your right hand should push enter okay so left hand right hand all together i'll do it again i'll delete it yeah so shift one and enter shift one enter okay so if you do this the whole structure of your html page it will come uh, automatically on the Visual Studio. You don't have to type anything. See, doc type is here, HTML tag is here, body tag is here, head tag is here. Okay, so you don't have to write it yourself. And not only that HTML tag, there are some other things also. You can see lang, and on the head section, there are some other tag like meta 
uh, all those quite the three meta tags are here now what does it mean i will explain this later on okay but for the time being just leave them as it is no need to delete now in the title you can change your title whatever you want uh, i will write here my first website you can write anything okay you can write your name the Kushi, Prabhas, Rohan, okay, anything you can write, uh, whatever you like. I just wrote my first website. You know the title tag now, okay. In last class, we have learned that. Now, so this is the head section. In head section, we will style tag, we will do this later on. Now, you know. In HTML, whatever we do in the body section, uh, that will be shown on your page. Now, what do I, from where we are going to start the website? Now, you can design the website in 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 various ways or right? whatever you like. Okay, you can do there gradually. You will do research. You will see some websites uh, on uh, in the internet and see that and just try to copy them. That's how you can learn okay that's a really good way there is nothing wrong in it because uh, you have to see more and more websites then only you will get your own imagination gradually now for the time being we always uh, see that w3 schools www.w3schools.com see if you see this website what you can see on the top there is a nav bar we call it navbar some people call it menu bar uh, anything okay so there are some links tutorials references exercises so there are some links in the link if you click you go somewhere these all are links as well learn html learn css if you click on learn html you will go to a different page okay so Overall, in the website, we'll say that we need a navbar where we will mention our, all our menu, like all the pages and stuff where we'll go. Okay. So, first, we will create a navbar. Okay. So, again, I'm saying you can create navbar in different ways. Like restriction. You can imagine and you can create your own design today we are going to create a basic navbar just to see we will learn some more design as well now in last class we learned the div i told you that that's a very important uh, tag we are going to use that a lot okay div means like it's quite self explanatory it's like division making a division so on the top for navbar we are going to create a div And what else I told that whenever you create a div, it's always good practice to give it an ID. So ID is like an unique identification. When you will do style, style to refer to that particular div, we will use that ID. Okay. So I am giving a name. My nav. Okay. You can give any name. ABC, whatever. Okay. So I am giving my nav. So I created the div. Now I'll save it. Now control F5 just to see how it's looking uh, on the browser. Now you can see in the browser, we can see our title, my first website in the top left corner. In the body, there is nothing because we didn't do anything in the body. We didn't do the style. We didn't write anything. Just for the time being, write parameter, control S, save, and yeah, we'll refresh the page. See? We can see parameter. 
I close this. I don't need to keep them open. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now there is nothing. Okay, now this div I created for the nav bar, I want to give it some style. So copy the ID name in the head section. I'll open a style tag. Then hash my nav. So first I will give it a width. I'll give width of 100%. Okay. So that means it will take the 100% of the screen. It will be white equal to 100% of the screen. If, whether it's a desktop screen, mobile screen, whatever, it will take 100% width. And the height I'll give uh, 70 pixel. Save it and I will give it a background color. Background color uh, I choose black but I will not do it totally black maybe a little bit different yeah this color okay now i will see how it's looking see it got some color okay black color but you can notice i gave the width 100 percent isn't it but it's little gap is there in the left side right side gap even on the top also little bit gap this is a trick you need to know okay now this is because the body whatever we are creating here actually it's inside the body section okay that is also a tag by default the body leaves some margin like when you write on your notebook you give it a margin on the top left hand side maybe sometimes you give it a margin or the margin is already there so by default in the body there is some margin in the left right top so i have to make it zero how can i do that in the style tag we'll write body now each tag is like one element in html page okay so body is also an element div is also an element p tag p is also an element so body is an element. For body, I am defining some style here. Margin. Margin, 0 pixel. When I write only 0 pixel, that means left, right, top, bottom, everywhere is 0 pixel. Okay. Now see the difference. Refresh. See? No margin there. Okay. So this is a, a really, really important thing you should remember whenever you start to develop a website or anything. First thing you do, body, margin, zero pixel. Okay? Otherwise, there will be gap and all those stuff. All right. Okay. So now that is solved. Now we'll come back to our nav bar. Now I have chosen this color and to give it a nice border. So still now we are styling this uh, my nav div. Okay, see hash my nav. Whenever you style any ID, we give a hash before that. Okay. So for hash my nav, we have mentioned width, height, background color. Now I am giving it a border, not everywhere. I will just give a border at the bottom of that bar okay now the color i choose some color let's see how it looks 
you can experiment with the color whatever you like okay nothing happened because i have to give it some width two pixel solid i have taught you about this border also in the last class if you can remember two pixel it's i can see it's very thin I will give it 5 pixel. Yeah. Now the color is, I can see the color. Okay. Now, I want to change the background color also. I mean, we can experiment with that. As I told, uh, yeah, let's see how it's looking a little bit changed. Um, I'll make it a little more bluish. Okay. Maybe a little more black. Hmm. Maybe a little more black I will do. Every time you change, don't forget to save it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. Okay. Now, now I will. So, now within this navbar, we are going to create another div. We'll put ID menu. I gave the name menu. If, if you want, you can put any name. Okay. Within this div, we are going to create all our link. You can remember that anchor tag, a opening tag, a closing tag. Within the a opening tag, we'll write H. R E F equals here we have to put the link now we don't have any link I'll just put it a hash so it will be a blank link okay now for the first link what name we are going to give maybe we'll give about me it will be an website about yourself okay you can make about anything so for the time being we are thinking that we are making a website for myself okay so this is about me here in this link i will put uh, my details okay so you will put your details so about me and then we'll create another two links maybe about maybe you will write it about your family my family And this one may be about your school, my school. Okay. You can write anything here, whatever you want to make the your website about. For the time being, we are making a website about myself. Okay. So like you are making a website for yourself, about yourself, then about your family, about your school. Okay. So Control S to save and refresh the page. See, there are in the top left corner, there are three links. Okay, the color is not much visible here. We are going to change that. And there is also underline. Okay, now first we are going to change the color so that we can see. How to do this? We have to style this a tag. Okay. Now to style this a tag, 
we'll see the upper div so within this div within this menu div this a tags are there okay so we'll style it like this so copy menu hash menu within menu a tag okay within menu a tag style first we'll do the color color I choose Alice blue okay it's light color now save and see refresh the page see the colors are changed now this underline I don't want this underline to be there okay so how to do this text decoration see text decoration none so no text decoration okay plain text now refresh see no underline okay now you can see this is like all these uh, links they started from top left corner I don't want that I want some padding here what is padding in the last class I taught you the, about the margin and the padding if you can remember these are very very important this margin and padding always we are going to use that so this anchor tags are within this div this menu div now we are going to style this we are going to give some padding on that so that around all the text there will be empty spaces okay so Hash menu padding padding first try with 10 pixel save and see how it's going see it came down but I want more I mean more gap here so if I want to do more gap Instead of 10, I'll type 20. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Save. Refresh. <coughs> Sorry. Now it's fine. But all this link, this about me, my family, my school, there is not much gap okay I want gap between them how to get that this hash menu within that a element already we started designing there we'll, we'll add some padding there also suppose 10 pixel let's see what happens yeah see we got some gap here okay now here I mentioned 20 pixel with the menu div but I want it to be little more down so if I do 25 pixel this menu div padding refresh yeah see now it's in the middle so like this you have to play around with the padding margin and all and you have to position them okay so i hope you have understand you have uh, understood that okay so so designing is like this you know you have to play around what will be the padding what will be the margin you know how much you want you have to see you have to try and you have to do like this okay i'm just showing you the way like how how you can start okay these are the basic thing gradually you are you will learn a lot of other things okay so we have created three links here we have created our nav bar now see these are blank link at the moment but still it's link 
but when you are clicking and all you can't see anything okay so what about if we give some more advanced effect like when you will hover on that it will change the color or it will change the size like that okay we can do this how see we are we are giving style on the all the all those anchor tags here hash menu the div within that div a tag okay now we'll just copy it we will give it a colon and then hover okay so we are going to style some hover effect on all those link. For style, whatever you want to style, suppose when you will hover, it will change the color. The color will become tomato. Tomato is a color, sort of reddish color. You can choose any color if you want. So suppose we will when you will hover over it it will become tomato color so save it and go and check how it's looking refresh see when i am hovering it's becoming tomato color okay suppose i also want them to become bigger size okay so font size You can give it a size also or you can just choose any size from here there are some default size large larger small smaller um, I'll give XX large let's see how big it will become save refresh Ooh, see it's becoming quite big okay see whichever whatever you will hover that will become bigger not the other one okay nice and cool effect now okay yeah so like this you can give any effect if you want you you can be you can give it a like font weight like this if you want but i don't need to give this one now like font weight means font <coughs> font weight Maybe I'll give 600. Okay. So save, refresh, over. See, it's becoming like gold. When you give font to it, it give, becomes gold. Okay. As per the size you mentioned, I have mentioned the size 600. You can make it more bolder with 800, 1000, like that. Okay. So if you want this, keep it like that. Now, <clears throat> What else do we want to do in the nav bar? At this moment, we'll just do uh, like this in the nav bar. We'll not do anything else. <coughs> so, yeah. So, this is pretty much the nav bar uh, we made now. One more thing I want to show you. Comment. This is always a good practice when you do programming to give some comment so that when you come back later on, you know, you can <clears throat> understand that what you did. Okay, so after that, you can start doing this. Uh, like, so this is always a good practice. And not only that, whenever, suppose uh, for a few days you didn't do any practice and all, after that, you came back. And when you will see your code, you will understand that easily that what you did okay so this is never <clears throat> see this is a comment how to write comment in html like this this is the opening tag this is the closing tag for comment okay now actually i didn't type it here i used the shortcut you can type it with your hand all these things or you can use the shortcut in your uh, keyboard how to do that i'll show you now this is navbar. If you don't do anything, if you don't put all those comment tag, what happens? You will be you will see these things on your uh, 
yeah see this is never on your page you don't want that okay because i don't want to show this this is comment for myself okay so you have to put the comment tag now you can put the comment tag manually or you can use the shortcut in the keyboard how to do this just write the comment and then select it and then on your keyboard control kc k c control k c so together on your left hand control and your right hand k c okay then this tag will be here automatically it will be commented out okay so <clears throat> all these shortcuts are very very uh, handy when you do a lot of coding uh, so you will not need to type everything yourself okay so control k c to comment out all right so i commented this is never <clears throat> and here i will write nav bar ends <clears throat> or you can write yeah nav bar <clears throat> Yeah, ends here. Okay, so number is done. I will comment it out. Select Control S. All right, Control S. Refresh your page. See, today the video is already long. I will stop here for this week. Uh, you guys watch this again and again. Practice this stuff because a lot of new things we have learned. Like the whole nav bar, we have learned uh, how to put the link there and how to give the hover effect on the nav bar. Okay. And also, we practiced margin and padding here. And don't forget about that putting margin zero for the body. If you don't put for the body margin zero, you will you will have gap margin on the top left right everywhere which we don't want okay so first thing you should remember okay i'll just show in the visual studio when you will start uh, developing the so first thing you will do this body margin zero okay for the body element margin should be zero okay so then we learn this hoover effect Okay, how we did the hover effect? Yeah, menu, menu div within that div, there is anchor tags for that anchor tag hover, and we change the color for hovering, font size, and font weight also. Okay, and we used border here and quite a few things we learned today that's why i'm stopping it here in next class we are going to do some more stuff like how we are going to put all these things horizontally and we'll do some more designing and we'll also do the footer of the website then we will complete this website okay and after that i will also show you how to put the website on github for free so that it will be in, on internet you can share the link with your friends family everyone and you can show them that you have created your first website and during this time i'll i will ask you to collect some pictures some images okay like here we have we are creating three uh three section basically three link so one is about me my family my school so about me you collect your picture you can collect your one picture and then write something about yourself in this div some nice texts okay you whatever you want to write and then you can put one picture here one picture here so two pictures and it's up to you okay how many pictures you want to put and then my family, for my family also, you will do similar thing. You collect two pictures about your family and then write a paragraph like 
uh, who are in your family how many members where you are living and all those stuff whatever you want to write about your family similarly about my school also if you have any picture uh, collect some picture if you don't have just write a paragraph about your school so all those things uh, we'll be able to put in our website okay so during that time watch this again and again and practice okay and if you already start creating like my family my school you can do this even if it's not horizontal it's perfectly all right in the next class i will show you how to put all these things horizontally if you like this it's okay but i don't like this because all the screens are empty so i want them to be horizontally okay and we'll learn some more new stuff more css properties and style properties in the next class okay so today i i'll stop here and sorry i am not able to conduct the uh, live class now but these videos will be quite elaborative okay and i'll go very slow you'll be able to follow me uh, i think there will not be any problem if you have any question or anything just go to my uh, in my youtube channel in the comment section just ask your question i'll answer and i'll come back to you okay thank you very much thank you for watching you have a nice week bye